The Kansas City Chiefs tight end had to warn Swifties to stop sending gifts and letters to his personal account, because none of the items were reaching him. In new episode of the New Heights podcast, Travis Kelsey has a message for anybody trying to send him presents, mail or flowers, don't. The Kansas City Chiefs tight end reveals on Wednesday's episode of his New Heights podcast that he no longer receives mail or any presents at his home due to an overwhelming influx of deliveries. The topic is raised after his brother and co-host, Philadelphia Eagles alum Jason Kelsey, shares that he and wife Kylie recently hired a team of professional organizers to help them with some spring cleaning around their home. Travis agrees that clearing out clutter is key, the one thing you don't realize that when somebody posts your house online, that everybody now has your address and people just send stuff to your house, he says. So I literally stopped getting mail to my house. I had to stop. I had to literally tell the post office and everybody to, like, stop bringing stuff to my house, Jason plays devil's advocate, reminding Travis that, there's some stuff that comes and it's pretty cool, but Travis is undeterred. Anything sent to my house, send right back to the sender, he declares. So anybody that's just sending random ST to my house, uh, it's not getting to me. Travis has seen an increase in his public profile over the last year amid his romance with pop icon Taylor Swift. According to multiple reports, Travis purchased a $6 million home in Kansas City, Missouri, last fall in an effort for more privacy after the couple went public with their relationship. Especially when Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift just spent a public night filled with romance. The couple stepping out together for Patrick Mahomes 15 and the Mahomes Foundation Gala on Saturday night in Las Vegas, Nevada. An eyewitness told that Taylor and Travis walked in holding hands and were affectionate all night, while supporting Mahomes' charity initiative in Las Vegas, Nevada. The event goer adds that throughout the night, there was lots of kissing and just overall happiness between them. The support is there for one another, the two seem to be in good spirits and definitely in love, said the eyewitness, this amid a historic week for both Travis and Taylor, with the former inking a deal to make him the highest paid tight end in the NFL and the latter shattering numerous records with the release of her 11th studio album. Swifties have speculated that the tortured poets department includes a number of love songs aimed at Travis including The Alchemy and So High School. Travis is so supportive of the entire album and loves that he is a part of Taylor's story, a source told after the release. He is a Swifty through and through, and is very proud of her. While Taylor is gearing up to resume her era's tour on May 9 in Paris, Travis is prepping to host his second annual Kelsey Jam, presented by Jim Beam. The festival goes down May 18 at Azra Amphitheater in Kansas City. Some of this year's featured artists include like Lil Wayne, 2 Chains, and Diplo. It's definitely been fun to experience her taste in music, for sure, Kelsey recently said of Swift in an interview with E.T. She's so amazing at what she does. And to find that creativity to see where she likes to pull things from and just, really, how she listens to music is very eye-opening for me. It's been fun to hear her take on it.